And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some ephemeral elusives, our next meme tier deck today. So this one's gonna be a kind of like a one turn kill style deck where we're gonna be uh, making some very, very large elusives and playing them all like in one turn to kill our opponent. And the way that we're gonna be doing that is with uh, two things. First, Green Glade Elder, being able to uh, grant all of the allies in our hand plus one plus one. And you know, maybe playing multiple Green Glade Elders with the help of Stalking Shadows. They could find two of them. Or Retreat Return, they can put it back in our hand and then put it back out. So, so right, so we just save all of our allies in our hand, use Green Glade Elder to buff them up, but then also Encroaching Shadows, which is grant all allies in your deck and your hand plus two plus two. It does give them Ephemeral, which isn't great, but since we're trying to kill them in like one shot, um, then that Ephemeral isn't that big of a deal. So we're going to have to kind of, or hopefully kind of stay alive a little bit. We don't want to face like the super fast aggro decks because it does take some time to set up your Green Glade Elders and Encroaching Shadows and things like that. So we're looking at more like a turn five, like around five through seven kill, like five, six, seven, something like that of like putting a bunch of um, elusives in play. So we're going to have uh, like Darkwater Scourge for a little bit of defense. And, you know, like Fading Icon can play some defense also in Oblivious Islander things like that. But besides that, you know, like we're going to have these cards like Dancing Droplet, Blade Scout, Shadow Apprentice, Green Glade Duo. Green Glade Duo, of course, is going to be like our most important threat. Silent Shadow Seer, like these, all of these are like very cheap elusives that like, you know, round five, you can play a Duo and a Shadow Seer and then, you know, like another one of these one drops and stuff like that. So uh, that's going to be the plan. That's going to be the plan. Let's see how it does. We'll go play five games over in normal. After I switch up our board, we want any elusive over here. Let's get Festival Bloom Tooth. That works. Yeah, so we'll play Encroaching Shadows um, basically pretty early, right? The earlier you can play Encroaching Shadows, the better. Uh, because it, it not only buffs up the things in your hand, but then also your deck. Um, so yeah, we want to... That's going to be like an early play. Now, Victor Siver. The thing is, we can't just like have tons and tons of Encroaching Shadows. Probably. I don't know. Maybe we can. Actually, yeah, maybe we can. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, I like it. Good, these Blade Scouts are perfect because they're one mana elusives. Um, you know, very easy to play, very good. We'll want to draw one more good elusive. Okay, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's still a good one. So we're gonna play this Green Glade Elder first, because I don't want I don't want the Green Glade Elder to be ephemeral. And I could see playing the Shadow Assassin up next. That one doesn't really need to be ephemeral. And then, you know, because we just want like, kind of like something in play to play a little defense. Um, but it does look like they are got a much more slow control style hand, which that's good for us. All right, Stalking Shadows. They should have the MK2. Like, if I play the Shadow Assassin, they'll just MK2 it. So actually, maybe I just wait. I mean, I could play this Blade Scout and attack him for 5, but the Blade Scout will be 7. Yeah, that animation's really cool, isn't it? That's like the coolest part of our deck. Is that animation? Oh, that retreat return would have been amazing with the Green Glade Elder. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna do some attacking next. <laughs> we're gonna do some attacking next round. Let's 
Be like, round set. Like, this is really where we're doing our thing. Like, round six, round seven. Oh, man. Are they going to have eight more points of burn? I hope not. Okay. Night falls. Shadows gather. So two mana, eight, six. I'm just going to play all the other th the other ones. And just one shot him. That's just so much ephemeral damage. We only need three of those to hit. Three of those five. GG's. Or is that round six? I think that's round six. Yeah, that was round six, because we had six mana. Because two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So yeah, you could say we're like a combo deck. Yeah, all of our matches will probably be this fast, but it could be our opponent killing us first before we're able to do that, right? Because we don't really play defense. So against, so, you know, that's a really Azir deck. Could certainly kill us before we're able to do that. But we were a little lucky. We had double, double Encroaching Shadows. It's not always going to be that powerful. All right, so I got Green Glade Elder, Retreat, Return, Green Glade Elder. No greater gift than knowledge. Check out these moves. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. No, you don't have to full mulligan for Encroaching Shadows, especially like. Greenglade Elder is basically Encroaching Shadows. Especially how we had Greenglade Elder plus Retreat Return. Uh. I guess I should probably go, should, probably should have played the other droplet first. Yeah, I probably should have played, I should have played the other droplet first. I would have just had an additional mana than what I currently have. Am I or shadow? They, of course, have a bunch of elusive blockers you also. Hold up. I was going to say. Where are you going? Hang on, 
So unfortunately, like the silent shadows here, when it creates a copy of me, it's not an exact copy of me. And I, I wish that would be a good, like this is an epic. That would be a good buff for this card. It should create an exact copy, not just like a lame copy. That'd be a good buff for that card. Yeah, meme days on Mondays. But we ha I had so many meme tier donation decks that I had to that we're doing meme tier Monday again today. So it's like meme tier Monday Tuesday edition today. All three sparring students and multiple green glade duos <laughs> and then all these flawless duets um Yeah, you could say that exact copy would be busted with Encroaching Shadows, but that's good. Like, I mean, that's... It's not like it plays... It's, it's not like it sees any kind of play in the metagame whatsoever, right? So, like, let it do something busted. Why not? Like, do you see what my opponent's doing? Like, <laughs> you know? I wouldn't really call this fair. Remember our ancestors and fight for those who came before us. So I think they can kill. Can they kill me? Oh, they just had syncopation. Yeah, they could. They could definitely kill me then. That wasn't a good switch. You could have done better with the switches. Does that kill me though? Exactly. They could have done better though, because they could have that six on block. All right, so good job, opponent. Way to way to win with Aurelia Zero and Normal. They are very good. Another super uh, fast. Hyper aggro deck, right? Like, it's the least team of hyper aggro. Not what we want to face when we're just trying to set up for these one... You know, we need, a, like, a one-turn kill, like, round... You know, like, round six, round seven. We don't want these hyper-fast aggro decks. You know what? Let's go ahead and just go with the droplet. Yes, I'm not giving the droplet the extra plus one, plus one, but... Yeah, as I was going to say, it stops a team up. Ooh, Soul Shepherd's interesting. Come, the journey ahead is lost. Not a very good Greenglade Elder. Maybe I should be waiting on that. Death 
the main reason why I'm doing that is I like buffing up the Green Glade duo to be two health. So that's obviously really good for me, right? That Soul Shepherd doesn't really matter. So they got rid of a Get Excited and a Vile Feast. That's very good for me. And now we have a two health Green Glade duo that can block Teemo. All right, I'm gonna just play you. Like it. <clears throat> like having more units in hand. Ooh, I like the retreat return. Okay. So. No greater gift than knowledge. Think I'm still like a yodel in uniform. They use a ton of burn spells, right? Like a ton of removal. Hoping they don't have more removal for the screenplay duo now. These are not good draws, these Oblivious Islanders. Do have more. I just have so much removal. So much. Well, I mean, I've ran out of cards. My hand's pretty bad. I don't have like very many cards that aren't elusive in the deck, right? Like it's just base it's just like these cards, Oblivious Islander, Fading Icon, Green Glade Elder, like that's it. Shadow Assassin, see there we go. So that's what I was gonna say, is like we you'd have to assume that we're gonna find more elusives. It's basically just am I casting encroaching shadows or not? Timo's made me play differently. I know what lurks in the shadows. Come from the trees. I'll recite your rights. So we've played two Mystic Shots, two Vile Feasts, two Get Excited so far. Our best draw is Stalking Shadows. Like, we need to refill. That is definitely our best draw of Stalking Shadows. They gotta be pretty scared, right? The encroaching shadow does sound seem pretty scary. Is 
Definitely could have used a stock and shadows. But... It does the ones in our deck as well. Come closer. I don't fight. Okay. Well, this is this is it. Ah, uh, now stalking shadows cuz now the the copy that we get won't have all the pluses. Which I guess it's gonna be okay, so if I take Green Glade Elder, that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or deck is just nine mana. So yeah, we can play all these, so. But Green Glade Elder is easy to block. Silent, Silent Shadow Seer, not easy to block. Yeah, we should take the elusive. So of course this is this is it, this is the game. Wow. Love it. That should be the game. Oh, it, it makes it... Oh! Stalking Shadows does create an exact copy. Yeah, it's an exact ephemeral copy. Oh, it works. Oh, never mind. Okay, well, I'm just, I'm just wrong. I didn't realize it was an exact copy. I'm kind of surprised they didn't have four points of burn. But there we go. Triple triple encroaching shadows. Alright, well then I would have used the encroaching shadows a little earlier. Not worried about looking for stalking shadows, but... Okay, good to know for later. GG's. Alright, Nasher. Thanks for hanging out today. Have fun at work today. All right, there are another elusive deck. We got paired against another elusive deck. So we have the camera lag going. I for, I didn't change that at the beginning of the stream, my bad. Okay, camera lag should be done. Okay, good hand, good hand. I kind of just have to make sure that I don't get ran over by this Green Glade duo. So we'll just uh, have those trade. Let's move. Hold up. But they're playing Frail Yord, so I'm sure they're going to use Frail Yord protection. Yep. The Oblivious Islander doesn't really matter if it gets the bonus, does it? No, I mean, I guess. Retreat return. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Fresh catch. Well, 
it was fresh. You got a good hand. Yeah, we'll get that Zed at a four three. It's all about the race. So we're going to take damage. Wow. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Well. Huh. They just have the elusive blockers. I want to play against everybody with elusive blockers. Like, we would definitely kill them next round if they didn't have elusive blockers. Uh, let's see. Not sure if I'm sequencing this correctly or not. So we can kill something. What do we want to do? We can we can like kill Zed. Like killing Zed sounds pretty good. But that Makes a lot of other things a lot worse. That means I have to play like Encroaching Shadows to kill Zed. Yeah, that's. It makes a lot of other things a lot worse doing that. It's kind of rough, though, because they just have all these ephemeral, or all these elusive blockers. No, ephemerals don't die until they strike, so they don't die to the quick attack. They don't die until they strike. Okay. I think they got this. I, I guess I just can't cast the Encroaching Shadow. That was that was just too greedy of me casting the Encroaching Shadows because all these things having Ephemeral is gonna kill me because I can't I can't keep anything alive because like they just block with these like little one ones and it trades with my my large units and I couldn't cast that Encroaching Shadows when I did. Yeah, it's so awkward. Alright, so I, I went with killing the Zed. I should have just replayed the... 
Uh, I should just return to the 3-1 back into play and buff these things up again and just blocked the Zed and this with the 3-1s, so and then I would have had these uh, Green Glade duos that would have had three health. Yeah. All right, good game. Two and two. Playing against elusive decks, um, playing against elusive decks, okay, good, yay, not an elusive deck, yeah, because we just don't want to, like, the elusive decks just block our ephemeral elusives, and, like, you know, even though we make really large ephemeral elusives, if they can just block, <laughs> that's a problem. Okay, so we need to find our power. We need to find like Stalking Shadows, Green Glade Elder, that kind of stuff. I, I like these Shadow Assassins because they can draw some cards. So I like that. I think Shadow Apprentice could be plus one, plus one for each. Ephemeral ally. You probably have to cost more than one mana at that point, but yeah, that could be an option. Plus one, plus one for each ephemeral ally. Alright, love that card. I would have had that before the Greenglade Elder, but... Oh well. All right, get that Nexus down to 15. Make that 18, and then this round, you know, I'll be playing like Stalking Shadows plus Encroaching Shadows. Do not embarrass me, troll. Um, I could play the Dark Water Scourge to kind of slow them down a bit. Because let's see, next round, I guess they will have the mana for Ruination. I'll have one, two, three. Four, five, six. Okay. So I don't really need... I guess I don't really need Stalking Shadows. Oh, but all the Droplets will let me Stalking Shadow. My Droplets will let me Encroaching Shadows, I mean. Oh, no, 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 but then we can't... Yeah, we can't Droplet first. Okay, so... Um... I can just take a hit. Can I just take a hit? This will make everything, yeah, this basically makes it where they can't, where, like, if, if we don't kill them this next round, it'll be okay.
I should play to 3 3 and put it into turn it into a 4 4. Thirteen damage. We just want the elusives right now. I wouldn't mind if they Ruination, I guess, you know, because it resets everything that they got going on. Ruination's not bad for me. So that's 19. They can, like, Withering Whale and go back to 20, and then I'm not killing them. Or they could also, you know, vengeance. Alright, so they're still dead. So they go to two. If that was their plan, they probably should have Withering Whale a lot earlier and killed my 2 1. It was buffing up all that stuff. They play atrocity? Probably not, right? Probably not. Oh well, I'll pass it. If this holds them back, I'll be happy with that. The retreat return does reset it, so now it's not ephemeral anymore. Hang on, Buzzball. Hey. Everything's better with company. Says you. Got him. Oh no, we don't got him. Okay, 
Okay, so they're going to have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, plus this buffs up 1, because they only had the 1 card to buff up. So 12. Like right now it's 12, but then if they draw anything that costs 8+, plus, I lose. But of course, if they just draw anything that costs 8+, plus, I probably lose anyway. It's just, it's just like, do I should I challenge this? No, I don't think I challenge it. No, I don't think I do. Yeah, they got yeah, pretty fortunate with this one. I, I didn't think they could win this game. Oh, they got pretty fortunate with it. Plus two, they did. They just drew an eight plus cost card. Yeah, nice, sweet life. That was a, a lot of removal for that deck. All right, so our ephemeral elusives went two and three. Um, you know, that's that's kind of what I would expect with this deck, to be honest. You know, like this isn't uh, necessarily going to be a super strong deck, but you can see it, it can do some really cool stuff with uh, putting out a ton of elusive power. Um, unfortunately, our last opponent was able to shut us down, but I think in general, um, you know, the, that that kind of matchup is going to be pretty favorable for. For you. They they healed their Nexus for 15 with two Withering Wills and three Kindly Tavern Keepers. And so they're able to stay alive at one <laughs> after that. Um, and I guess they used the Vile Feast also. I don't, you don't see Vile Feast in that deck either too much. I guess they healed their Nexus for 16. But um, yeah, so there we go. So that's a, a good meme tier deck though, right? Like that's, that's what it is. Uh, it does what it does. It's, you know, if you want to play Encroaching Shadows, you know, like you're looking to do that, I recommend this list. I liked the list. I liked it quite a bit. Uh, I think it had um, exactly what you want for this kind of deck. All right, that's it here for Ephemeral Elusives. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well and let me know what you think of the deck or any of our other meme tier decks or just, you know, any decks in general. And tomorrow, we got Heimer Dinger Spotlight. So that we'll be bringing those decks for tomorrow. All right, but that's going to be it here for this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.